Hello everybody. It is you know who it is. Cracking Cream one back with another video. And today we're doing E twenty one A and E twenty one B Kumon Max. This one it may look pretty hard, but it's just all the basics combined into one question. All you have to do, the first part is five plus five is ten. And remember that the bottom one stays the same. And you do plus because of the symbol here. Now, 6 goes into 10 once, with a remainder of 4, and then the 6 stays the same. Now, this one you can simplify. So, if you have 1 and 4 over 6, you can divide 4 by 2, and you can divide 6 by 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. And just one, you just leave it. 5 plus 5 is equal to 10. Bottom one stays the same. 8 goes into 10 once, with a remainder of 2 over 8. Now, 2 divided by 2, you can, and you can do 2 divided by 8 divided by 2, I mean. So that will be, move the 1 over, 1 and 1 over 4. Seven plus seven is fourteen over eight. Eight goes into fourteen once, remainder six over eight. That equals six divided by two, you can do that. Eight divided by two, you can do that. To bring the one over, six divided by two, three, eight divided by two, four. Four plus eight is twelve. The nine over at the bottom, you just bring it over. That is the same at 9 goes into 12 once with a remainder of 3 over 9. You can do 3 divided by 3. And you can do 9 divided by 3. So that would be 1 and 3 divided by 3 is 1 and 9 divided by 3 is 3. 8 plus 7 is 15 over 9. 9 goes into 15 once, remainder 6 over 9. So that is equal to 6 divided by 3 is 1 and 2. 9 divided by 3 is equal to 3. 1 and 2 over 3. 3 plus 9 is 12. Bring the 10 over, over 10. That is the same as 10 goes into 12 once. Remainder 2 over 10. Because the 10 stays the same. Now, 2 divided by 2 and 10 divided by 2. So that is equal to 1, 2 divided by 2, 1, over 10 divided by 2, 5, 1 and 1 fifth. 4 plus 7 is 11, over 11, because the bottom one stays the same. And since the top and the bottom are both the same, just put a 1. Oh, sorry. 5 plus 7 is 12 over 9 equal to 9 goes into 12 once. Remainder 3 over 9. 3 divided by 3 is and 9 divided by 3. They're both equal to. So there's 1 here and 1 over 3. 1 and 1 third. It's not all confusing when you think about it and when you repeat it lots. Next question. 7 plus 4 is 11. The 9 stays the same at the bottom. That equals 9 goes into 11 once with a remainder of 2 over 9. Now, since there is no number that both of these can possibly go into, and we're talking about whole numbers here, then that is your answer. Because no number that goes into 2 can also go into 9. Because 2 can go into 2 easy, but it can't go into 9. 3 can go into 9, but it can't go into 2. So there is no possible answer. So that is your answer. 1 and 2 over 9. 9 plus 3 is 12 over 10 equals 
10 goes into 12 once with a remainder of 2 over 10. 2 divided by 2, 10 divided by 2 is equal to 1 and 1 over 5. So 1 and 1 first. 9 plus 7, 16 over 10. The bottom one says the same. 10 goes into 16 once with a remainder of 6 over 10 equals 6 divided by 2, 10 divided by 2, so 1 and 3 over 5. For this one, 5 plus 11 is equal to 16 over 12. 12 goes into 16 once with a remainder of 4 over 12, so 1 and 4 over 12. And for this one, you can do 4 divided by 4 and 12 divided by 4. So that equals 1 and 1 over 3. So if you're having trouble what to divide like 4 over 12 by, because you can divide it by 2 or you can divide it by 4. Remember, always divide the top and the bottom by the same thing. If you're having trouble finding, you have to get like the biggest number that they both go into. So in this case, 4. If it was 2 over 6, the biggest number that they both go into is 2. Yeah, like that. If you're having trouble, just remember that. Mm. 11 plus 7 is 18 over 13. 13 goes into 18 once with a remainder of 5 over 13. And there's no possible answer that both 5 and 13 go into. So your answer is 1 and 5 over 13. Last question. 2 plus 10 is 12 over 13. The bottom one stays the same. Is equal to 12 over 13. Because the bottom one, the top one I mean, is actually smaller than the bottom one. So that means uh, that's your answer. You can't simplify it, you can't reduce it, or any fancy thing. Thank you for enjoying today's video. I actually hope you enjoyed. If you did, subscribe and like. And thank you. Bye.